everybody, it's Stephanie, and I just made sure that the video was recording because I've done those videos when I record everything. I think I am, and have to do another video. So here I am in the hotel room again. Um, I showed you guys pictures. I had a, I got to have pedicures with Juniper. It was so precious. Um, and so, and also we got to get juniper drinks, which I wouldn't have even known they have or paid attention to that because thankfully Heather Watkins was the one that told me they had them. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have even noticed them on the menu and not have decided realize how delicious they are. All right, so here we go. Um some so Huntington's video oh yes just to let you guys know I get to stay five days with Connor um he they live um like an hour away from Rochester so I get to stay with him for five days so I'm very excited to do bedtime with him and stuff um but still having that uh, grieving in me about the situation that came up um where I can only see Juniper three times um in this visit but it's like God knows and he's gonna just make it work God's gonna make it the best um so just yeah the time we do have that Yes, God's going to take a hold of it, and it will multiply it, make it feel like it was a long time. So, um, I get to go take her to church on Sunday, and so I'm looking forward to doing our banners together. I'm going to give her um, another banner to use, because I'm bringing a bunch of the kid-sized banners to use at Aronicoid Vineyard. So that way, Juniper's like, what? Because that way she has one to keep at Ashley's house where she stays, or at not and one at Nama's house. That's her grandma's name. Um, so yes, yeah, she's very excited to get two slippers, and she gave me a birthday um gift. It was this wonderful lavender ca uh, candle, uh, and these two really warm soft. Um, socks so I was excited to get those um all right so the Huntington stuff so just uh, um so Joe actually works for United Health and he got me signed up for this plan um that includes everything okay you guys everything doesn't cost me anything so um yes okay so let me give this blurb first Dental, eye care, feet, urology, like everything, it's free, no copay. Um, so those services, so I'm very excited because um, with my running, uh, my foot, feet are starting to hurt again. So I really need more insoles. So it's going to be, um, yeah, free visit and I'm sure the insoles will be very cheaper whatever I'm not sure about that part but it's very exciting also <coughs> pardon me must drink my coffee hold on and you get um, every three months a hundred seventy dollar um, kind of gift card to Walgreens when they have all of these things you can choose and so it's free to me because you have this money so I get to have another um, wrist brace, which um, is with my banners and everything. I think you guys, I've told you, but I had tendonitis in this wrist, and they did a cortisone shot in it. But now it's just one of those things I need support for again. I used to always wear my wristband, but now I lost it, so I get... And one of those wristbands and a bunch of sunscreen all this wonderful stuff so and it's all covered for free so thank you Jesus that Joe works for United Health um, okay I think that's everything I get yep okay oh yeah hmm okay right Okay, yes, that was that little blurb. Okay, 
Um, and I also, so Joy is my social worker that works with my neurologist, Dr. Seberger. And so one day I really needed to get a hold of her. It was for moving in, like certain things I need to have in place. One being, um, I need them to give me a notice that I can have my pot brownies in my room and can take them myself, self-administer them. Um, so, um, so I had left like three messages and it was stuff my, with moving in to the Brookside, I needed it like right away. So I was just praying that one day I had called let her answer, let her answer, and she answered. I was like, joy, and so anyway, so that was a God thing. Okay, let's see, oh yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, oh yeah, um, so there was a lot of like, um, Injust injustice, what I was feeling with the situation that happened, but um, God's really given me peace uh, about the situation with Juniper. So, okay, let's see. Oh yes, and okay, I I Facebook, I put this on Facebook, but just to let you guys know, I keep getting extra money in my account. And it is like, this is why I have this big smile on my face because God knows, I, I told you guys, I will not have any money to tithe um, when I move into the Brookside because all I get is $113 a month and 80 of that has to go to my um, savings for being able to go see my kids twice a month, I mean twice a year. Um, so I have, and then I have to have some money for my groceries that I will need and all of that. So I was like really bummed I wasn't going to be able to tithe, but lo and behold, I've gotten over, let's see, um, in my account so far, I had gotten up 151.75 total of the um, money that's coming in and then just yesterday I got a lot of extra money in my um, disability check so of course that was $183 extra so I tied that so it's really awesome like this is where my joy is because God knows that desire in me to tithe and so he's just been giving me extra money, extra money. Um, and so I just, um, really exciting. Like, it's awesome. So, okay. Yes. Okay. I think that's all the Huntington stuff. So, uh, the worship song of the day is going to be It Is Well. And I will do our devotionals. Okay, we are on the last little blurb um, before we move into the next chapter. Okay, so this is the last couple pages in the Love Heals by the Mercy of God, Chapter 9. A prayer when we feel vulnerable. Compassion, compassionate God, speak to me in whispers and sweet silence. This day has left me so tender, a breeze would break my heart. Be present as I take my rest and visit me with kind angels. In my resting, strength my desire for courage. And kindle my heart to face the worries of a new day. Inspire me with a new thought to carry me through. Renew a right spirit within me to fight injustice. Light, let my tears be a sign of compassion, not weariness. Let my grief, let my grief be a sign of my love, not my despair. You are the Holy One who knows that in my weakness I find your strength. Amen. All right, and now for your guys' poem of the day. Okay. 
All right, this one is titled Never Borrow Sorrow from Tomorrow. Wait, I think we did that. Oh, uh, I think we did that one. Okay. So this one is titled A Sure Way to a Happy Day. Happiness is something we create in our mind. It is not something you search for and so seldom find it just it's just waking up and beginning the day by counting our blessings and kneeling to pray is giving up thoughts that breed discontent and accepting my what comes as a gift heaven sent it's giving up wishing for things we have not and making the best of whatever we've got it's knowing that life is determined for us and per and pursuing our tasks without fret, fume, or fuss. For it's by completing what God gives us to do that we will find real contentment and happiness too. All right, now time to pray. Thank you, Jesus, so much for my um amazing subscribers lord and i just ask that you would fill each of them more with your peace and your joy today that people that haven't felt your presence in a long time would just um, feel saturated with it today amen all right you guys i will do a video on sunday after i go to church with Juniper, um, cause that's what I do. All right. You guys are all caught up. I will talk when I have more to say.